Driving a school bus can be a drag. Every day you travel the same roads, see the same houses, and deal with the same, sometimes literally, snot-nosed kids. The drivers responsible for bringing home one Texas teen, however, were treated to something truly different. When buses pulled up to Savannah Burns Ranch home in Atlanta, Texas, it wasn't uncommon to spot an unlikely animal charging full speed towards the doors. The driver and the kids inside likely felt some mix of fear, confusion, and disbelief. What was that little black ball dawdling towards the bus with such ferocity? And what did it want that compelled it to sprint so gung-ho towards a vehicle full of kids? The answer was both surprising and adorable. That speedy blur was none other than Frog, the rooster. And this wasn't the first time he sprinted towards Savannah's arriving school bus. In fact, he did it every single day to greet his human friend. Their relationship was clearly very special. He hears the bus stop a few houses down on the country road, Holly Burns, Savannah's mom said, and then he's running down to the end of the driveway before it gets there, every day. Unbelievably, that wasn't even the cutest part of their friendship. It all started back in February 2017, when the Burns family first brought the rooster home. Right away, they noticed he was kind of… weird. He had feathers all the way down to his feet, and he moved unlike any chicken they'd ever seen. In fact, he moved like another animal entirely. He didn't walk, he hopped, Holly said. My son was like, it's hopping like a frog. We should name him Frog. Still, there was something even stranger about Frog than the way he moved. Despite having a ranch filled to the brim with social chickens and additional roosters, Frog wasn't really interested in hanging out with his brothers and sisters. Instead, he was far more interested in making human companions. Since the day they realized how special he was, Frog's family has been careful to document thousands of photographs, mostly posted to social media, which chronicle his unique interests. Frog liked to tag alongside everyone. Still, for as much attention as he paid to all members of the Burns family, his most enduring friendship was the one he shared with Savannah. The reason why is truly remarkable. At first, Savannah and Frog's bonding experience started small. She would scoop him up while she did chores. He would watch her intently, and that was that. No one realized how strong their bond would become. She'd take him to the laundry room and he'd watch attentively, Holly Burns said. She'd go and wash dishes and she'd set him up on the counter and he'd watch her wash the dishes. This all had to be abnormal rooster behavior, right? You'd be hard-pressed to find a rooster that behaved in a way similar to Frog. In fact, a lot of roosters can be kind of snippy and territorial. Frog was practically the polar opposite. When people see a rooster running at them, Holly said, everyone's first instinct is, oh my god, he's going to attack me. Just imagine what the bus driver must have been thinking when Frog came rushing toward the bus. Nevertheless, while roosters can be rude and aggressive, it's not because the birds are mean at heart. They're just hardwired to protect the females of the flock. So why did Frog act so different? Holly had a simple explanation. I don't think he thinks he's a rooster, Holly said. In fact, Savannah isn't even the only non-rooster that Frog loves to hang out with. When the family dog, Casper, was afraid of a storm, Frog crawled up beside him for comfort. Since then, the two have been seen playing together all the time. Frog will jump on top of Casper, Holly said and Casper will lie on top of him like, okay, what are you doing? Frog always made sure to receive his recommended daily dose of play. Even Savannah had a unique way of entertaining the bird. Savannah pulls him in a wagon, Holly said. Wherever she goes, he's right behind her. He gets up on the bunk beds with her. He'll sit and watch TV with her. Talk about an entertaining life for a rooster. Yep, Frog was truly a unique bird. Contrary to any rooster stereotypes, he proved that these little fellas are capable of great love and compassion. He's a very big member of the family, Holly said, or a very small member of our family. <laughs>